blessings, blessings, for this is a day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Word Unfiltered, where there's no filters, no chasers to the Word of God. I don't take from it. I don't add to it. He has already perfected it enough. All right, y'all. So I haven't made a video in a while because I kind of had to take a step back, okay? I had to take a step back. And also my videos when I was posting about Islam and stuff was being reported. So I got in a little trouble with YouTube, but it is okay. It is okay because I'm back at it, okay? And I'm going to post some more videos about Islam, but that is not what this video is about today. We are talking about Beyonce. Okay, Beyonce. But if you're like me, um, and you have noticed the things that is going on in this world, okay, and I know you're probably ready for Jesus Christ to come on back and snatch us out of this game of Jumanji. We over, we tired, we done playing, okay. But if you're also like me, you're also praying that God delays his return because we had know there's people that still need to get their selves together, still need to get their souls right, and I don't wish hell on anyone. Uh, on no one the biggest star the the richest part i don't wish hell on anyone because your money is not going to be able to buy you a free ticket out your money is not going to be able to save your soul your money is not going to be able to stop the anguish and the torment that the enemy has prepared for those who have followed him in this life i don't care how much money you have you're not going to be able to take it with you it's not going to get you it's, it's not going to be enough to buy you a seat in heaven okay but whoever you have yielded your members to whoever you have stirred while you are here on earth that's who you will spend eternity with if you do not get it right so i'm also praying that god jesus christ delays his return okay so that people i still have family and friends and stuff that have not yet fully surrendered themselves to god but there's still people in this world that i want to see saved okay deliver and set free and redeemed so although i'm ready it's like, okay, okay, Jesus, I know we got to, I know you're giving them, giving them more time, okay? <laughs> I know you're giving them more time. But when it comes to Hollywood, there's so much going on in Hollywood, and the stars are falling. The stars are falling where this P. Diddy situation is concerned, and Jay Z, and R. Kelly, and so on and so forth. There's going to be plenty, plenty, plenty more because people they really thought that because they had money they had power they were untouchable and and, and it has caused people to praise and worship them and god does not play he said thou shalt have no other gods before me okay i'm a jealous god so he he doesn't play when when his worship and his praise is being given to creation rather than him the creator when he is the one he is the one that died for our sins. He is the one that, that became that perfect sacrifice. How dare you praise creation? How dare you praise uh, the flawed and sinful men and women? And you don't give the praise to the creator who's perfect, who's perfect, who love you so much that he came and he died. Okay. Not for sins that he committed, but for your sins for your nasty disgusting sins and iniquities for my nasty disgusting sins and iniquities i how dare you praise them but okay i'm that's it for that rant <laughs> so we're talking about beyonce today we're gonna um listen to some of these lyrics and y'all this song is older from what i researched but it has now like resurfaced um tiktok so we're gonna listen to the lyrics and yeah, y'all tell me in the comments what y'all think about it. All right. If it's what you truly want, I can wear her skin over mine. Her and y'all think this is just for entertainment purposes? Like y'all really hair over mine her hands as gloves her teeth as confetti her scalp a cap <laughs> like what happened to the Beyonce that used to be with Destiny's Child that was you know talking about the independent women and single ladies and he need to put a ring on it. Like the transition that has happened. Okay. The deeper she get into this witchcraft and stuff the you can hear it 
in her music. And I don't listen to her music. It's just something that's been coming across TikTok. And I'm like, let me listen. Let me see what these lyrics are, are, are saying. Because with all the stuff that's being revealed, okay, she's she it's going to happen with her too, okay? Like, God is showing, I don't care how much money you have. It's not going to protect you from the all mighty the king of kings and the lord of lords her sternum my bedazzled cane her sternum my bedazzled cane like what in the we world we can pose for a photograph all three of us immortalized you and your perfect girl Now, I don't know if this is a message to Jay-Z, what didn't, something didn't happen. Yeah, they reveal a lot of truth in their, these, <laughs> in their music, in the lyrics. I don't know when love became elusive. What I know is no one I know has it. My father's arms around my mother's neck. My father's arms around my mother's neck. What went on in that household? Is this what drove her over the edge? Is this what caused her to turn to Jay-Z? I always feel like people that date people that are way, 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 way older than them. Um, not saying everybody, but I'd be like, this is some father issues going on. Like, what, what's going on with this? Fruit too ripe to eat. I think of lovers as trees. Growing to and from one another. And I know it's another song on this album, too, that um, somebody else had asked me to review when I reviewed the Church Girl um, song. I don't know if it's on this album, though, but... Searching for the same light. Why can't you see me? Why can't you see me? Why can't you? Why see can't you see me? Everyone else can. This girl needs. Yeah, at first I was just ready to raw, you know, like. <laughs> Now, as Christians, as people who follow the Christ, you should not be listening to her music. You should not be even buying her hair products, okay? That's a whole nother, I might do a whole nother video concerning these hair products that a lot of these church folks are buying. You should not be sowing any type of seed into her her lifestyle, okay, into her music, into any part of any business that she has. But anyway, um, I kind of, I feel sorry for her. I feel sorry for it because listen to those lyrics there. There is so there's some things that she went through, and just with everything that's being uncovered and revealed in Hollywood, and how a lot of because Beyonce was young when she started in the industry, um, and Jay Z is a a lot older than she is, and when he when when they first started messing around, she was she was a kid. Okay, she was a kid. So I'm sure there was a lot of violation going on. I'm sure there was a lot of things that happened to her that was not right, that was evil, um, and she was a victim. And this is the results. This is the effects of being a victim. This is the effects of what she has been through. Okay, what she has been through and what she is going through and and even in her her marriage what she has seen even in her household as a child okay these are the effects of it because the way the enemy does he finds the void and that's how he enters in that's how he enter, enters in and he uses and manipulates and turns these people into puppets okay he finds a void and he takes his residence within that void and this is what has happened with her and I pray I pray I pray I pray I know God turn will turn people over to a reprobate mind but I pray that in the name of Jesus that Beyonce's spiritual eyes become open to 
truth, okay? The truth that's in Jesus Christ, because he is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one cometh unto the Father but by him. I pray that before it's too late, that before it's too late, she comes and turns to Jesus because there's a lot of pain in her. And I'm not going to say she's not gifted, she's not talented, okay? Because God has definitely given her a gift and given her a talent, but it was supposed to be used for his glory. It was supposed to be used for 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 good. It was supposed to be used for for him to bring glory to his name. And the enemy has taken control of it and he is using it for his gain. He's using it for his glory. He's that's that's what he wanted. That's what he wanted from the beginning. That's what, what got him kicked out of heaven. It's because he wanted to be God, okay? So it's it's sad. It it hurts my heart. It it really does. But I pray that she comes to find Jesus. I pray that when her star does fall, because it's going to happen. It's going to happen. There's a lot being revealed. The stars are falling. Things are being uncovered. And she's not untouchable, okay? No matter how many people worship her and cry when they meet her and defend her, even though she don't even know their name, but that doesn't matter, okay? Nobody is untouchable when it comes to the one that created them, okay? They created the heavens and the earth. So I just keep all these people in prayer. You know, we're supposed to pray for our enemies. We're supposed to pray for those who write, who, uh, who despises and abuse us and um we supposed to pray pray for people not pray against them but pray for them that whatever god decides that's going to happen it will turn them over to jesus they will know that they are not going to make it without them i don't care how much money you have i don't care how big your house is i don't care how grand your car is i don't care how many people worship you one thing we all have in common, no matter what's in your bank account, no matter how many people know your name or how many people don't, we all going to leave here. We are all going to die, okay? That's something that your money, it it can't buy you everlasting life, okay? It can't. The only person, the only one that can give you everlasting life is Jesus Christ. He's the only one, the only way, the only truth, the only life. So God bless you. Let's keep all of those who don't know Jesus in prayer. And if you are one of those ones, this is the time to get to know him because we're in the we're in the last days. We're in the last days. If you're trying to figure out what is going on in the world, I don't care if you don't even believe that there is a God. You can tell that something is strange in the land. Something is going on in this world that you can't really put your finger on it. You know you know that something is not right, that the world is strange. We thought it was when the pandemic happened, but no, it's even stranger now. And that all signs point to the return of Jesus Christ. And when he does come, there will be no excuse. You can't say you didn't hear it. You can't, you can't say you didn't have an opportunity for he has given all of us a chance to come to repentance. He has given off us all a chance to deny ourselves, pick up our, pick up our cross and follow him. He's a just judge. He's a just God. So whatever punishment is received or is given, you earned it. You earned it. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Amen. So God bless you. Let me know in the comments what y'all think about the lyrics, even if you want to post a prayer um, concerning Beyonce and all of those who are considered celebrities that are celebrated by people. Um, yeah, let's just keep everybody in prayer.